Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some Wizard Hog Rider deck on top ladder, so if you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'm in my first match here facing this guy, so he's probably playing E-Giant. I think I faced this guy yesterday. It's a pretty annoying deck, but I've got the cannon, so maybe I'll be able to win. But yeah, get a knight in the back here. Giant. Oh, it's Giant Graveyard. Okay, so I'm going to cannon and then just going to Wizard down low. Kind of a bad Graveyard, not going to do anything. Also, I don't think he's going to be able to afford... To pop the ability because then he can't defend my hog rider okay good defense here took some damage but hog should get it back this deck does not have a bowler so it's really nice because without a bowler they can't really defend the hog they need like a dark prince and a snowball or like i don't know archer snowball or ability snowball hog is really broken like it baits out like a lot of responses okay got two hits there not too bad gonna go for a log right now and then i'm gonna knight on this side i feel like i have to yeah, just gonna soak up the charge. Kind of wish that the other archer also walked in, but only one of the archers are gonna walk into my tower range. So yeah, knight's not gonna do anything now. It's basically dead, but he might go in again, so I'm gonna watch out. If not, then I'm probably gonna wizard in the back. Okay, right now I can't wizard in the back because he did that, but I'm gonna wait to see if he goes in. He's probably gonna pop the ability and go in, to be fair. Oh, he kind of popped it like a second late. I'm gonna goblins here and then just gonna hog to pull that back. No, it didn't work. Wait log wait am i fine i think i'm fine okay i'm good still took some damage but i'm okay would have been nice if i pulled it back though because then i would only defend the graveyard with the goblins and then they would walk up and go kill the guardian as well and then i would only have to worry about the minions but that was good though i'll take that for sure i'm probably gonna wizard in the back at 10 elixir i can like stack up a lot of wizard and double elixir thing is that he doesn't really have a big spell so if i stack up a lot of wizard he can't really do anything i'm gonna hog goblins because i know that he only has a dark prince so should die to the goblins that's why i put it like a little bit far back from the hog because it wouldn't splash on the goblins but yeah that's like basically dead i'm gonna have to log to make sure it doesn't charge but i'll take that interaction any day gonna wizard in the back here also guys i hit back again yesterday and uh, i checked the comments a lot of people told me to like lock my elbows and stuff when i'm doing pull downs and stuff like that so i was actually able to feel something yesterday so just wanted to say thank you for all the people who commented but yeah a bit of an unrelated topic but all good though gonna wizard in the middle wizard should not die i feel like it's gonna get pushed back yeah yeah that's gonna stay alive for like a little bit longer and then he's probably gonna arrows i'm gonna ice spirit right now okay really good ice spirit kill like four skellies gonna log Okay, Little Prince was kind of pointless there. It kept um, walking. Yo, yo, don't go in front. Okay. I thought the wizard was about to go in front. I got scared for a second there, but Hog should get one shot, right? Maybe one more if I'm lucky. Yo, okay. I'll take that. I'm not complaining. Take that any day. All right. Dark Prince should die. Yo, if I just go Hog right now, I think he's dead. How's he going to defend this? Going to Goblins? Oh, yeah, that was good. That was good. Little Prince ability is actually going to take my evil knight out i'm gonna hog and then log see if i can sneak a hit oh unfortunate played the minions all good though he's also kind of low right now i think he just got to five should just about be getting to five yeah all right not too bad most he can do is like snowball arrows right now so i'm not worried about it arrows is not gonna take out my wizard so i don't know why he would do it yep there we go all right 834 i just need like two hits so i'm gonna knight on the side and then i'm just gonna hog log and that should be game because Dark Prince is not going to do enough damage to defend the hog. He's going to have to giant on the wizard and then go minions on the wizard or something. Oh yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's tower. I'll take the win. Pretty nice first win. Kind of a good matchup because he can kill my wizard. And wizard's so underrated in that matchup, I'm not going to lie. Okay, that's going to put me at top 84. Not too bad. going to hop right in. I'll see you when I find a match. Alright, in my next match here. I'm going to try to find out what deck this guy's playing. going to Ice Spirit to cycle on the right lane. Also, I can't wait to face beatdown decks. Just any kind of beatdown decks. I'm just kind of fiending for it right now. Wizard is so good against beatdown. Okay, gonna hog in the middle. Oh, minor poison. Okay, this is like one of the worst matchups in the game for me. So, definitely not gonna be good, but I'll try. It's definitely winnable though, for sure. Because if I outcycle the bomb tower and hit like a pre-log on the goblins or something, I might be able to get a lot of damage. It's kind of what I have in mind right now. I don't see any other way of me getting damage, but... I might even be able to get a wizard on the tower, who knows. No delivery in his deck because he has wall breakers, so could be possible. Gonna Ice Spear on the left here to get damage. Okay, bait it out the Little Prince. So I'm gonna log right now and then go Hog on the right. This is gonna make him go Goblins because I logged. So I'm gonna predict it right now. Okay, perfect. It's gonna be like two hits on the tower. Yo, wait, that's like way more. Okay, one more shot. Not way more, but that was a lot of damage. I'll take that. 
I'm gonna knight on the Looter Prince and then I'm gonna wait for the ability. I let the wall breakers go because I kind of knew that I was down like a lot of elixir, especially after that hog earthquake on the right lane onto elixir goblin. So I knew that I was down at least four elixir after that. And then I just had to eat the wall breakers on the right. I could not afford to defend it, but I had to defend the left lane though because he popped the ability, went minor, and there was a knight on the field already. So I had to go like knight log goblins or something on it. But anyway, it's gonna hog on the right lane. I'm not gonna earthquake though. If I go Earthquake, I might not be able to defend the push on the left. He could just go Little Prince at the bridge and then try to go Minor with it. So I don't want to die to that. I'm going to Cannon. going to put it relatively high because I need to be able to pull the Wall Breakers from the opposite lane as well. But I don't think he's going to place it down though, seeing that I play the Cannon kind of high. If I played it low, then yeah, probably. But I played it kind of high, so not too bad. I'm actually going to go Hog Goblins right now because not back to Bomb Tower and he might have to pop the ability. Okay, he's only at like 5 Elixir right now, so I'm going to Hog Goblins gonna log right now not back to bomb tower by the way okay does go for the evo knight he's probably gonna goblins now yo two shots we take those gonna go for a cannon no way my knight dies before taking the little prince out right yeah okay all right we take those gonna goblins here the miner did a ton of damage though i can't lie i couldn't defend it because there was the evo knight maybe i could have goblins on the miner and then pulled the evo knight back with the hog Bunch of different things I could have done there, but I kind of focused on defending it, so not too bad. Gonna knight right now, and then gonna log on the goblins. Okay, yo, that was horrible. Wait, I'm gonna earthquake? Okay, I'm gonna be able to outcycle the bomb tower next cycle. Yeah, I think it's over. Because if I outcycle the bomb tower, which I already did, I have my hog in cycle right now. I'm gonna goblins in the back for the miner. Okay, gonna evil knight. He might log there. Yo, he's kind of broke. He's back to bomb tower, though. He's at three, and then probably four, so bomb tower. Yeah, let's go for the bomb tower. I'm going to Earthquake, and that should be able to get, like, two hits on the tower. Should be one more, because I don't think a log is in cycle. Yeah, yeah, because he had to log on my goblins. Okay, this guy was kind of BMing early, so I'm going to BM him back. Going to stall the game out for, like, a little bit longer, just a tiny bit longer. Like, I don't know, 20, 25 seconds-ish. But, yeah, after that, I'll end it. Because I know that he's going to spam me, and I probably have to be forced to end it. But I'd love to, like, be able to BM for more, though. I don't know why he BM'd, bro. This matchup is so good for him. But I'll take it though. I'm not complaining. All right, that was kind of satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. We take those. I'm gonna play like two more. Just gonna hop right in and see when I find a match. Okay, in my next match here, facing Tanjiro. He plays Mega Knight Wall Breakers with Minor Zap. He's a really good player though, so gonna have to watch out. Gonna Ice Spirit in the back. Okay, let's go for Barbarella in the back. So I'm gonna have to Knight on it. All right, I might be able to Hog on the right, but I just cycled my Knight, so I'm not gonna do it right away. I'm going to wait to see if he's going to Mega Knight with the Musketeer, because if he does, then I might have to rotate back to my Knight again, but if not, then I can probably pressure. I'm going to Wizard in the back right now, though. I'm not even going to, like, log the Musketeer, because I might need it for the Wall Breakers. Like, he might go minor Wall Breakers on the opposite lane, so I might need it, but... Yeah, for now, I'm going to let that lock on my Wizard. Going to go for a Cannon. Zap should not kill that. Yeah, it does go for the Zap. I thought he would go for it, because that's free tower damage right there, but... Zap should not kill it, though. It's not going to do any damage, but... All good. He might try to go wall breakers on the spot where they bypass the cannons. So I'm going to defend them with the goblins. Yep, does go for the wall breakers. So goblins here should defend, especially with the zap out of cycle. All right, let me try going hog because he's back to Mega Knight and I've got the knight back. So don't really have much I need to worry about right now. Okay, not too bad. That's going to be one shot. I'm going to go for a wizard in the back right now. Actually, no, 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 not all the way in the back. I'm going to put it in front of my king tower. Kind of need to place it decently high. Okay, gonna Ice Spear right now, and that should die. Yeah, Mega Knight should not do any damage, although the Musketeer might lock on my tower. Yeah, that's all good. Took like four hits from it. No, not four. That couldn't have been four. Probably like three hits, but I'm gonna Hog Rider right now, and I'm actually gonna let the Wall Breakers go because I want him to go opposite lane as me. I don't want to go same lane because I don't want to have to defend a whole huge Mega Knight push same lane every time I go Hog Rider. So I want to kind of like let him go opposite lane so he doesn't want to like mega knight on the hog all the time i don't know sometimes he might want a bats bar barrel might want to go like bandit musketeer zap or something so yeah just don't want him to mega knight on the hog every single time that would not be optimal wizard in the back right now okay miner should die good to know that he's not going same lane gonna earthquake on the right okay i'm gonna ice spirit to cycle one off hog rider but i'm not gonna go it i'm gonna cannon on defense gonna play it low because i just realized i can't play it high because I kind of have to defend the wall breakers with something else. If I play it high, then Musketeer is going to snipe it, and then the bandit might also dash on it. So just have to be really careful. Going to let that dash. Okay, might go hog on the right. Actually, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. That's a fat Mega Knight and a half. I'm going to Ice Spirit on the left, and then I'm just going to go for a cannon here. 
Okay, I can probably goblins on this now. All right, beautiful. Not too bad. That was a really good um, defense. I'm not going to... Yo, that Mega Knight was horrible. Wait. Wait, Knight and then Hog Rider. He's going to Bar Barrel. If I Bar Barrel or if I log the Bar Barrel, that should die without getting a shot on my wizard. Okay. Yo, that's on the tower. One more shot. Nice. Oh, it got the one more on top of that one more. What the hell? That was so many hits right there. I'll take that. I'm going to activate King Tower off the Mega Knight, and then I'm just going to Cannon Hide to defend the Wall Breaker. It's going to Knight on the Miner. Reset it. Going to Log right now. Ice Spirit so the Bandit doesn't dash, and then I'm going to Goblins on top to keep my Knight alive. going to Hog right now because he can't afford a Mega Knight. Going to Earthquake, and that should be game. All right. Damn, I played that defense really well at the end. I activated King Tower, defended the Wall Breakers, and then also defended all that junk on the left. I'll take it. Okay, on to my last match here. Fisting Mondragon. See what deck he's playing? Mondragon. Interesting name. Not as interesting as Aragon, though. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But anyway, it's going to go for uh, Ice Spear at the back behind my Knight. And then, actually, wait. Goblin's on the left. Mega Minion could be Lava Hound. Hopefully, he defends that. Oh, my God. Okay. Lava Hound, like... Yeah, Wizard is good in this matchup, but, like, you don't often find yourself defending Lava Hunt pushes because it's so hard. Like, it's actually annoying as hell to defend without a Tornado in your deck. I'm gonna have to Knight here. Okay, one of the pups locked on my tower, but only one of them locked on, though, so it should be fine. Okay, I don't want to Hog right now. I know he has Barbarians, so when I go in, I'm gonna have to go Hog Goblin, so... Two or three of the barbs get distracted, and then I might as well get, like, two hits on the tower. I don't know if it's going to be two, but it's definitely going to be one, though. Like, I'm going to show right here. I'm going to go hog goblins at, like, nine elixir. Yeah, like, right about now. Actually going to wait till ten, because I'm also going to get my log back. Okay, yeah, so he's going to barbs. Two of them are going to get distracted, not all three. Actually, yeah, three of them got distracted, but only got one hit on the tower. So I'll take that for sure. Damage anyway, so not too bad. Going to log right now. Okay, back to my evil knight. Wait, I can probably go in. Yo, 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 he's dead. He's dead. Yo, he can't defend this. If I earthquake on the tombstone, he can't defend this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just hope that he doesn't pop the ability and then go balloon. If he does, then I'm gonna try to defend with, like, goblins and then log and then cannon. Actually, not gonna be able to afford a log. But I'll try to defend it, right? But I'm probably not gonna be able to defend it. Yeah, 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 it's Jover. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, I thought I won, but then, like, he came right back, so. Definitely gonna be a stressful game. Two-tower game, actually, a lot better for me compared to him, though, because now I can kind of, like, I activated pocket, so if anything, if he goes lava, I can probably hog on the normal spot and then try to go for, like, a night pocket to tank. Probably go Earthquake if he doesn't have, like, the evil barbs in cycle, but let me just bait out the Tombstone right now with the Hog Rider. Okay, not too bad. Gonna Earthquake on it, because, I mean, yeah, it's only one hit, but still worth it, because look at all the damage I got gonna wizard in the back right now i'm gonna have to defend this push right and then try to go for like a hog and a wizard on the right to take out the evil barbs or else i can't take out the evil barbs Ooh, really good night log come on take it out take it out take it out take it out oh okay goblins here and then i'm gonna ice spirit i'm gonna save my wizard though I'm not gonna let anything kill it yeah that wizard is going crazy wait hit the pups no hit the pups Bro, okay, Balloon's gonna get one shot, but that might not hit the pups. Yeah, ended up not hitting the pups. Yo, he zapped the tower, though. All right, perfect time to bait out the evil barbs, because next cycle, I need the evil barbs to be out of cycle if I'm gonna do something. So, hog goblins right now. One shot, one shot, one shot. Yes, okay. Uh, Just gonna try to go for a wizard. Yo, that balloon was horrible. It's not gonna do anything. No fireball zap in cycle. Okay, gonna ice spear on it. Death bomb, though. Pretty annoying. Every time he goes in, he's probably gonna get death bomb, but gonna log right now yo wait 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 wait. he kind of needed that on defense no yeah like i don't think i'm tweaking here i'm gonna knight on pocket okay and then just gonna earthquake on the tomb yeah he's dead like he can't do anything now perfect all right sweet i'll take the win if you enjoyed the video please make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video tomorrow is gonna be like the most stressful day so i don't know if i'll be able to upload but i'll let you guys know love you